What's going on guys, today we are going to be doing an absolutely sick mid-drive build with this mountain bike and the bike I'm using today is this brand new Trek Marlin 6 in a size large. This is a Gen 3 model. There's something quite important with this Gen 3 model. You can no longer turn a Trek Marlin 3, Trek Marlin 6 or a Gen 3 into a hub drive e-bike because it's got a closed dropout. So it's their own kind of through skew skewer system where it's got a closed dropout. There's no slot underneath here to put a hub wheel in. It's kind of like a quick release, but with a closed dropout and an Allen key instead of a quick release skewer. Why they've done that, I do not know, but it's not gonna to matter to us today whatsoever because we're still gonna convert it using this badass little mid-drive motor. Now, I've done a video on this previously. I'll put the link in the video description. I've done a very detailed comparison of this kit and a thorough testing against a Bafang, specs wise. I really put this through its paces in the last video. You can check that video up on the screen now. Fuck. Well, it's definitely a test for robustness. I literally just went across the rock garden, hit a rock about that big, and I've properly smashed the motor. Oh my God. I properly gouged the casing of the motor. And it's still working absolutely fine. I've just properly battered that, but it's still working good. Robustness test seems all right. So I've taken more out of the rock than I've taken out the motor. It's taken the whole edge off of that rock. Silent, it's got torque assist, it's got plenty of power. Now, depending on your gearing, you're still going to get 35 40 miles an hour out of this if you're putting this on a mountain bike. 39! Oh, come on! 40! Yeah! Depending on your, uh, you know, a lot depends on your gear cassette and the amount of teeth you got on your cassette. I managed to get 40 mile an hour out of this last time with a bit of downhill assistance. Really, really good kit. I really like this. And the price on this is actually, I think one of the best bang for buck kits you can get on the market. It's easy to fit. It works well. I think they're really good quality. This is by Tong Zheng and I get this through kirbybike.com. There's a exclusive discount code for do stuff subscribers. I'll put that in the video description as well. Get 30 pounds off the kit. It's really very good value for money. So. Got the basic components of the kit, apart from the screen, you've got a 48 volt, 16 hour battery, easy to install. The motor itself, 120 newton meters of torque, very easy to install with most 68 or 73 mil bottom brackets. If you want to see a detailed version of the installation of this, check out the other video as mentioned before. This tennis ball is not part of the e-bike kit, but thanks for trying to participate. So today we're going to do a quick installation of this it's not going to be detailed we're going to throw the kit on see what it's like this bike's ready to go I've already got the bottom bracket removed i've already upgraded the rotors squeezed on a 203 mil rotor front and back we've got rock shock forks really decent spec bike beautiful kind of metallic maroon midnight blue fade with a chrome graphics this is going to be a sick bike i'm going to give this bike away as well to one of the lucky subscribers a lot of people have been asking me to stick another bike on the raffle again. I've already given away about 10, 11 e-bikes, something like that. This one's going to go to one of my lucky subscribers. Check the link later in the video. Without further ado, let's get building this e-bike. Let's go.
Well guys, the bike is fully done now. I'm really happy with how it's come out. I've had the gears adjusted this morning so they work flawlessly. Obviously very important with a mid-drive that the rear gears are set up well. As I said before, I've done a really detailed video already on this kit on another bike I fitted. I'll put it up on the screen one more time if you want to find that. I want to do something different on this video. Uh, I've already done the hill test, top speed and all that in the other video. It does about 40, goes up hill as well. I want to know because this is cheaper than the 2000 watt 52 volt hub drive kit how this compares in terms of acceleration because it's cheaper to buy and I think it's a great all round little kit so I want to see today and it's the perfect time to do it because follow me we have got two size large Trek Marlin 6s that's a gen 2 with a hub drive conversion on the last of the Trek Marlin 6 before you couldn't convert it to hub drive. That's got a 52 volt, 2000 watt kit. Is yours 29 inch wheel? 27. Oh, is it? Ah, still. Anyway, two size large Trek Marlin 6s, 1000 watt mid drive versus 2000 watt hub. I think that's going to be a pretty cool test. Yeah, we're just going to go head to head today and see what's spending less on the Tongjian mid drive does compared to the more expensive 2000 watt Andy Kirby kit. Let's go. No pedaling, three, two, one, go. Oh, oh no, he's catching. Oh, he's tight. Flicking through the gears. Ah, oh, 1000 watt mid drive is going to take the win on this one. Whoa. Brakes are better than the road surface. Round one to the mid drive. Ready to go again then, best out of three. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I'm neck and neck this time. <laughs> neck and neck. Oh no. Careful. Ah, oh, round two goes to Lou. Done me. I think that one could have come down to gear changes or anything, couldn't it? This is the deciding one. <laughs> will the cheaper 1,000 watt mid drive take the crown or will the 2,000 watt be worth the extra money? Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, I could only pedal, I think I'd take him. Ah, just slightly quicker. Only by a fraction. Well done, Luke. Well, that was a terrible high five. How'd you feel about your chuffed your bike took it? You're not happy? God, I hate to think if you lost. It's close though, isn't it? I think this is a little bit quicker off the line on throttle only, but I don't think this gives 100% throttle. It does move all right, but I think if I added torque sense into it and a bit of firm pedaling, should we find out? I pedal, I pedal a bit, like not like crazy, but we'd run it again with the pedaling because I think that would give me full power on this. Okay. All right, you come forward a couple of inches. A couple of inches? Yeah, go on then. I'll give you that. Right, I don't think there's, I don't know, it said PAS level 5, so I'm not actually sure. I'm not actually sure. I don't know if that gives me more power. Should you run it one more time, just see if that gives us more power? Because I don't know what PAS 5 is on the mid-drive, I don't know if that gives me more power. We'll run it without pedaling. It might be exactly the same, but let's find out. Ready? Three, two... One, go. Hold on, I didn't get on the throw. My bad. Three, two, one, go. Come on, change gear, go. Terrible gear changing by me, I'll give it a load of heads. 
Oh, I'm catching him a little bit. That bad gear change made me lose it. Right, that wasn't a definitive answer, so I want to run that. Run it one more time, Lou. Ready? Three, two, oh, get on the throttle. I'm on the wrong thing. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's really tight. Oh, look how tight it is. Oh, whoa. Just gaining. Oh, brake, 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 brake. <laughs> well, Lou is going to go straight through the bloody road then. That was really close. There ain't much in it, is there, really? Still need to change up the gears. Right. So throttle only that takes it not by a lot though no. this ain't bad it's a bit lethargic going through the gears because like i said i don't i don't believe i reckon it gives it about 70 percent of the power of the motor it feels like to me the motor will only wind to a certain i don't know if they call it revs or whatever on a mid drive but it only go to a certain amount of sort of revolutions or speed for the throttle dozen i think anyway Oh, there's an as a food delivery van. We'll do a short one just to get an idea. Right. Ready then with some pedaling? Yeah. You can pedal. Right. Three, two, one, go. Ah, oh, balls that up massively. I think I did worse than I did on throttle. Do you know what? I've got another tactic. I think I'm going to start on throttle only and then pedal. I think that's going to make more sense. Let's run it back one more time. Yeah. I think it's trying to like that. You just pull the throttle and forget about it, don't you? And pedal. This, I've got like two gear levers, a throttle and limited brain function from ADHD. All right. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> He's got off to a better start. On the left. <laughs> what a terrible start again. <sighs> oh, sex. Bit of exercise, that wasn't it? Well, I'll still get a high five. It's a weird one to call, isn't it? Like, if you get this right, it's really right. I don't think pedal pedaling really helps launch it particularly any better. Once you start getting up to about 15, 20 mile an hour, this thing starts properly clawing it back. Yeah, that was fun. All right, guys, let's see what this thing can do flat out. Flying up through the gears now in top gear. Absolutely hammering it. Yeah, she's quick. Anyone guess the speed? Fuck. That was 15 miles an hour, of course. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Leave us a like, leave us a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.